after Rosie says FCK you liar to Steve Scalise, injured congressman shuts her fat mouth. Rosie O'Donnell picked on Steve Scalise, the Louisiana congressman who was badly injured after he was shot last June. Rosie's profane outburst is part of her Trump derangement syndrome getting worse. Scalise was calling for tax cuts for all American families, and it made Rosie become unglued, dropping the F-bomb and accusing him of lying. Don't worry, Scalise may be in a wheelchair, but that didn't stop the Cajun congressman, who shut her fat mouth with just three words. Rosie is on Twitter 24-7 and her obsession is all things Donald Trump. Rosie has revealed she actually thinks his impeachment is only days away, but she has been saying that for over six months. It seems she is losing her mind, and we have hard evidence of her deteriorating mental state in the form of her random profane tweet to Representative Steve Scalise. What set her off was a tweet by Scalise that said, I applaud the passage of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. This is a huge win for American families. Wow, yeah that's crazy, right? I can see where Rosie would have to respond immediately to that zinger. Or maybe it was the shocking animated gif Scalise included with his tweet? It's the congressman clapping. Crazy stuff for sure, causing loser O'Donnell to drop the F-bomb. Twitch he reported, the House passed the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act by a vote of 227-201 Thursday, and among those voting for the legislation was Rep. Steve Scalise who was shot by a deranged Bernie Brothers at a Republican congressional baseball team practice in June. Scalise celebrated the legislative victory with, an, animated gif. Within minutes of Scalise's tweet, Rosie was crafting her response. Twitchy adds, apparently, Rosie O'Donnell disagrees that the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act is a huge win, that, or she's sore over something else. No one could really make any sense out of the aging comedian's attack on Scalise, but it was fun to watch it play out of course, the irony here is it was the Cajun congressman, known for his adept sense of humor, who roasted Rosie. She set herself up for the comeback, and you can imagine it with his southern accent. Scalise, from Louisiana, responded like a true southerner, with a slight that is heard a lot in Dixie, tweeting back at Rosie, bless your heart. When you've survived what Scalise has, a nasty tweet from a nasty woman like Rosie O'Donnell must be pretty easy to shake off, Twitch he reported. This made Scalise's tweet go viral, as Americans joined in letting Rosie know she's a huge buffoon. Steve is a class act. Being the better person and taking the high road with disgusting Rosie's filthy mouth, tweeted Twitter user Nicole. Eric Michael Garcia tweeted. Anyone who spent any time in the South knows this isn't a compliment. Brett Horton told the liberal loser, you're so classy at Rosie. Literally, tens of young, angry kids must want to be like you when they grow up. Of course, one of the best responses came from Ty Todd Brown, who said, still not tweeting from Canada at Rosie. Reminding Rosie of her broken promise to leave America if Trump won. Canada doesn't want her. We have enough lunatic liberals of our own to deal with, tweeted Thersifbach. Another favorite came from Dinah Hinckley, who wrote, Liberals are always angry and bitter whenever jobs are mentioned. Isn't that the truth? As you can tell, the responses were defending Scalise and letting Rosie know whatever her issue is, dropping the F-bomb on a congressman who was shot over the kind of crazy rhetoric she incites is about as low as one can get. Rosie has no quick comeback for Scalise, she was too busy reading all the responses from the patriots who are sick and tired of her crazy politics. Trump derangement syndrome is a real thing, and Rosie is patient zero. She caught it the minute Trump crushed the Democratic blue wall on election night. So far, there is no cure, so we shall have to endure the profane outbursts from those who still cannot accept that Donald Trump will be the president for at least three, but hopefully seven. More years, more years.